Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletier, and I am the weatherman. Thanks for checking in to theweathermanpod.com on your Sunday. It's the 29th day of the month of September, and some wet weather has moved into the northeast and across the whole eastern portion of the nation, courtesy of uh, Helene and the remnants of that hurricane. And now going to meander and gradually, slowly move off the eastern seaboard. And high pressure will start to build in hopefully towards the end of the week in the central and eastern portion. It's already across the Great Lakes and the northern and western plain states where the weather's nice. But for your Sunday, look for showers, drizzle, fog, just the same type of pattern that you saw on Saturday. Expected highs only up to 66. It's an east wind keeping the temperatures down. Sunday is looking mostly cloudy, 57 across the northeast corner. And Monday, still a chance of some showers, mostly cloudy, 70. By Tuesday, showers and that strong frontal system moving through Tuesday night and Wednesday will bring some nice weather to the eastern seaboard, at least north of the Virginias, by sometime later Thursday and Friday of this week as we enter into the new month of October. In the meantime, still looks like overcast and wet weather for the most part across the area in the central and eastern portion of the nation. Look at the charts for Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. We see air of low pressure that's now over eastern Tennessee and Kentucky. The moisture from that system extends into the Ohio Valley and right up and through central and northern New Jersey and into Pennsylvania, southern and southeastern New York, even through the Carolinas and the Virginias. Uh, South Florida, just scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms, dry weather from the Great Lakes, as mentioned, all the way down to Texas, westward to the west coast. And looks like great weather from San Diego all the way up to the Seattle area. But Atlanta still will have some showers, but not major areas of rain, just a slowing situation uh, flying into the Atlanta area. Also, Dallas, Austin, and even Houston all looking generally fair. No problems expected there. Rainy weather in Charlotte, New York, Newark, LaGuardia, all showing overcast and rainy conditions, so there will be some slowdowns into there. Up to the Boston area, it is dry. Chicago is looking good. Minneapolis, St. Paul also looking pretty good. Finally, some rain across the eastern third of the nation, and that will slowly, gradually drift offshore. Probably take a couple of days for that to happen right through Tuesday. I'm Eddie Roger, Steve Pelletier, and I'm the weatherman. Hope you have a great Sunday. Talk to you first thing early next week. Take care.